Welcome back inside Guiteau Gymnasium. Lee Patterson with you as we're ready for NJCAA men's basketball action. Eastern Arizona and Arizona Western College. One more time, the starters for Western. A.J. Marmalejos, Cam Atkinson, Janoy Thomas, Matia Gledick, and Leroy Glover. For Eastern Arizona College, it will be Noah Goley, Rayshon Seamster, Terrence Warren, Dallin Morgan, and Lee Rickwood Pitt. And the, the big key tonight for this afternoon, I keep saying tonight, the lights are out, so it feels like it's nighttime inside here. But the big key this afternoon for the Monsters is the legs of the second day of a back-to-back. -back. We saw it in the middle of the girls' game earlier, in the women's game, about midway through the third quarter, the fatigue really started to set in, and it, and it really made a difference. Uh, that'll be the difference today if both these teams can keep their legs fresh and maybe a little bit deeper bench rotation on uh, for these two teams. So that'll do it for our pregame show. We're getting ready for the tip-off here on a Saturday afternoon. Pretty good crowd for a Saturday afternoon. Gorgeous afternoon here in the Gila Valley. We are expecting some rain to tonight into tomorrow, but t today it is gorgeous in the Gila Valley. We welcome those of you joining us on KETO, 1230 AM, GilaValleyCentral.net, and the Eastern Arizona College YouTube channel. It will be Lee Rickwood Pitt to jump center for the Monsters against Leroy Glover. If you're a sports fan and the name Leroy Glover sounds familiar, yes, Leroy Glover father played in the NFL Glover and Rickwood Pitt the toss the tap won by the Monsters left to right into the front court with Noah Goley on top to Dallin Morgan Morgan against the man-to-man -man defense on top to Rickwood Pitt hands it off back to Morgan thinks about a three now right side to Warren Warren with 15 to shoot into the lane stolen away by Gledich here come the Matadors back the other way, stolen back by a goalie. A goalie to the glass, blocked by Thomas and out of bounds. What an athletic sequence to start this one. It'll be Matador, it'll be Monster Basketball baseline left into Lee Rickwood Pitt, and he jams it home two-handed. Into the front court, Janoy Thomas with it for the Matadors. Hands it off to Atkinson. Back to Thomas, left side. Working against Warren. Now down to Glover, 14 to shoot. Glover to Gledich, left side. Works against Morgan, down to 10 to shoot. Out to Thomas. Thomas goes left, still coming left. Gets to the glass, lays it up and in as he gets around the corner. No help side defense came there for the Monsters. And it's a 2-2 ball game. Into the front court, Dallin Morgan with it. Right side to Rickwood Pitt. Hands it off on top to Seamster. Seamster goes left on Thomas, steps through around Glover, reverse layup and in. Nice athletic move and a timeout called by Arizona Western already. A minute and a half into the game and it's a 4-2. Eastern Arizona College lead as Seamster gets through the lane and puts it up and in. Just a 30 second timeout, we'll keep it here. The Monsters yesterday were able to get to the get to the basket quickly just like that and head coach Kyle Isaacs didn't like to see that on their first defensive possession where Seamster was able to get through the lane and lay it up and in and he called the timeout trying to regather his team but the Monsters are athletic. Rayshon Seamster at six foot seven can catch it on the wing and get to the basket in three steps and if you don't have help side defense coming over quick he's going to put it up and in. It'll be Matador basketball after the timeout. Eastern leading 4-2 to two as the Monsters try to roll to 11 straight victories. Thomas with the basketball right to left into the front court against Warren. Around a Glover screen, right side, gives it back to Glover, loses the handle, stolen by Eastern. Out to Seamster, Seamster to the glass, and two-handed flush for Rayshon Seamster. 6-2 Monsters early on, 18-25 to play in the first half. Edwin Suarez into the lineup already for the Matadors. 
On top to Marmalejos. Marmalejos, right side to Atkinson. Atkinson, right side to Thomas in the corner, drives in the lane to Suarez, blocked by Rickwood Pitt. And then we'll have a jump ball as Glover and Morgan tie it up underneath the basket. It will stay with Arizona Western. They're going to put eight on the shot clock. Matadors will inbound baseline right with eight to shoot. Into Atkinson against Seamster. Seven goes left, fade away, kicks it in the corner to Thomas. Long three on the way and good for Genoi Thomas from the right corner at the end of the shot clock. Makes it a 6-5 monster lead. 17.53 to play here in the first half. A goalie into the front court on top to Dallin Morgan. Wide open for a three. In and out, no good. Glover tips the rebound to Marmalejos. Into the front court, left side against Warren, blows past him, shovels it in the paint to Glover, and Noah goalie ties him up, and Eastern will get the, the ball back on the alternating possession. We we'll welcome everybody joining us on the YouTube feed this afternoon, as well as KETO 1230 AM here in the Gila Valley. Hope your Saturday afternoon. Is going well. Seamster with the ball left side to Lee Rickwood Pitt. Works against Glover on the left baseline. Comes right, steps into the lane. Now fade away, jumper on the way and good for Lee Rickwood Pitt. 8 5, Monsters lead, 17 15 to play in the first quarter. Big series this weekend for Eastern. The women were able to sweep the series and get three games clear of the Matadors. The Monster men trying to do the same thing. Atkinson with the ball left side on top to Suarez against Morgan in the lane. Spins around, floater up and in for Edwin Suarez. The 6'6 freshman from Reading, Pennsylvania makes it a 8-7 Eastern lead. A goalie gets past Marmalejos right side on top to Morgan. Morgan goes right on Thomas to Warren. Warren right side to Rickwood Pitt. Come left against Glover. Cross court to Morgan left side. Morgan comes right with 12 to shoot. Knocked away and stolen by Atkinson. Here come the Matadors, left side, in the lane to Glover. Glover traveled with the basketball as he runs over Rickwood Pitt. And one thing I've noticed in the last two games, Edwin Suarez from Arizona Western, anytime somebody goes down, he's there to help them up. Doesn't matter if it's his teammate or, another te or the other team, Edwin Suarez there to make sure they get back on their feet. Into the Eastern Arizona lineup will be number four, Dejon Russell Walters, a 6'7 freshman from Nottingham, United Kingdom. 8'7 Eastern on top. Russell Walters out on top. Hassled by Thomas. And a whistle and a foul called on a reach in against the Matadors. Genoi Thomas will pick up his first. It'll be Eastern basketball. Front court right. Terrence Warren will inbound. Does not have the Steri strip over his left eye to start the game tonight. If you remember, took an elbow last night. Had to get it stitched up, or at least Terry stripped up. Warren with the ball left side against Thomas. Crossover, fade away, left baseline, good. Terrence Warren, just a freshman. Just think, at this point last year, he was playing high school basketball. He's been fabulous for the Monsters this season. Marmalejos into the front court, Monsters by three. Left side to Suarez, drives to the lane, and one. And just as I was uh, praising Terrence Warren, late to rotate over on defense, picks up the foul, and one for Suarez. And he's got a chance to tie the game. 10-9, Monsters on top. It'll be the first on Warren, and Suarez to the line for the Matadors. Free throw on the way, back iron, but gets the shooter's touch and goes in. Ties the game at 10 with 15.52 to play. In the first half of this one, a goalie into the front court against Marmalejos. Near side to Warren. Warren on top to John Walters. Russell Walters stolen away right side by Suarez into the paint, and he lays it up and in. Edwin Suarez gives the Matadors a 12-10 lead with 15.32 to play. In the first half of this one, a goalie around Marmalejos right side. On top now to Russell Walters. He'll drive in the lane, steps through. Floater won't go. Rebounded by Russell Walters, and we'll have a jump ball as him and Glover tie it up underneath the basket. It'll be Matador basketball alternating possession. 
15-18 to play, first half, 12-10, Western on top. Yesterday in the game, Eastern trailed the entire first half against Western, but did not trail in the second half. Started much more even today. Suarez with the ball, near side to Thomas. Thomas crossover into the lane, fadeaway floater, won't go. Rebound is loose. It's gonna be a foul underneath against Eastern Arizona College. And that'll be against Russell Walters. Lee Rickwood Pitt has got blood. He's got to go to the training staff. And Lee Rickwood Pitt will head to the training staff to get the blood taken care of. Amari Caraway and Talon Morgan into the lineup for the Monsters. And it will be Matador basketball baseline left. Genoi Thomas will inbound. A Cook Machar will check into the Eastern lineup as well, replacing Russell Walters. On the floor for the Monster, Seamster, Caraway, Machar, Warren, and Morgan. Thomas to inbound baseline left. Into Atkinson, left side, works against Machar. Gets a screen from Glover. Now off to Suarez. Suarez goes, or excuse me, Marmalejos goes right. Kicks it back on top to Thomas. Thomas drives, pulls up from 15 straight away and buries it for Genoa Thomas. 14-10, Matadors, 14-32 to play in the first half of this one. Into the front court, Seamster with the ball left side. Off to Machar. Machar comes right on Suarez. Now pulls up from the left elbow, around and off, no good. Glover can't hang on to the rebound, but he chases it down into the hands of Atkinson. Off to Atkinson right side against Warren, off to Thomas. Thomas in the right corner, dribbles left, gives it to Glover in the lane, traveled with the basketball. We have a turnover back to the Monsters, 14.01 to play first half, 14 to 10, Arizona Western on top. Caraway will bring the ball into the front court against Marmalejos right side. Picks up his dribble, swings it around to Machar. Machar against Thomas, out on top, gets a screen from Morgan. Right side to Caraway, catch, shoot, three. Good for Amari Caraway. AC3 from the right corner puts it home to cut the Matador lead to one, 14 13. Into the front court, Atkinson with the left handed dribble for the Matadors. Works against Machar, now switched off to Seamster. On top to Glover, Glover to Marmalejos. Marmalejos chased there by Caraway, right corner to Thomas now. Thomas on the left handed dribble works against Seamster, 10 to shoot, right side. In down low to Suarez, Suarez blocked on the way up by Machar, and Caraway pulls it down. Off to Warren, left side. Warren against Marmalejos. Out on top to Machar, Machar in the lane, loses his handle, but it's last touched by Atkinson. It will stay with the Monsters baseline right. Matia Gledic into the Monster, excuse me, the Matador lineup, replacing Suarez, it'll be Eastern basketball baseline right, Caraway to inbound. Lobs in on top to Morgan, he catches there, back to Warren near side, steps into a three, short, rebounded by Thomas. Long outlet to Marmalejos, right side to the glass, no good, but a foul gonna be called on Terrence Warren. That'll be the second on Terrence Warren. That'll put A.J. Marmalejos at the line. Have, did have, was averaging 25 and a half points a game coming into last night's game. We'll see where he sits after the stats were entered from the game last night. Marmalejos at the line. First one is up and good. Into the Eastern Arizona lineup will be the 6'1 redshirt freshman from Seattle, Jamari Childs. Marmalejos now averages 24 points a game, second in the conference. Second free throw is good as well. 16-13. Monsters trail early on in this one, 12-47 to play in the first half. To Morgan, near side to Caraway, tries a second three. That one is short. Rebound is loose, and Glover there to chase it down for the Matadors. After Marmalejos in the lane, steps through. 
floater off the back iron, no good. Glover can't hit on the rebound. Off to Morgan, quickly in the front shorts to Seamster. Steps through to the glass and good for Rayshawn Seamster. 16-15, Monsters on top. Atkinson left side, fade away over Machar, no good. One-handed rebound by Seamster. Off to Machar, to the glass, and one for a Cook Machar. The foul will go on Genoa Thomas, his second. And that'll put Machar at the line to try to make it a three-point play for the Monsters as the Monsters regain the lead, 17-16, with 12.09 to play in the first half. Char sets, fires, good. Monsters back on top by two, 18-16, 12.08 to play in the first half. Thomas with the basketball against Caraway in the backcourt. Far side to Gledich, now up to Atkinson. Atkinson to Glover, now on top to Thomas. Thomas hands it off to Marmalejos. Chased by Caraway. three ball on the way, front iron no good, but Gledich there for the offensive rebound for the Matadors. Drives right on Morgan, blocked on the way up, and a whistle and a foul called on Dallin Morgan. The foul will go on Dallin Morgan, his first. Fourth team foul. And Mat Matija Gledic, the 6'8 sophomore from Serbia. Kragujevac, Serbia. He'll go to the line for two. Fires the first, and good. Lee Rickwood pit back into the monster lineup. Joao Das Chagas into the lineup. We did not see him last night at all for the Matadors. He's a 6'10 freshman from Nikelandia, Brazil. Second one by Gledich is good. 18-18, 11.45 to play. In the first half of this one, Caraway brings the ball into the front court, left side to Childs. Childs left corner to Seamster. Seamster drives, steps through, running floater no good. Rebounded out of bounds off of Gledich. It will be Eastern basketball. Gledich, one of the most expressive players we've seen this year in the league when the whistle blows against him. Childs drives the lane, kicks it near side to Machar. He'll catch, shoot the three, in and out no good. Rebounded by Das Chagas. Into the front court, Atkinson to Thomas. Stolen away by Rayshawn Seamster and out of bounds. It'll stay with the Matadors with 23 on the shot clock. Thomas to inbound, baseline left. Looking left, now on top to Marmalejos. Marmalejos against Caraway with 11.15 to play first half, tied at 18. Back to Gledich, near side against Caraway now. Caraway stays in front, good defense there. Hands back to Marmalejos. Marmalejos goes right against Machar. Ball's loose, but Marmalejos gets it back, steps through, and a traveling violation called on against Marmalejos. He switched pivot feet. I think he, I don't know if he thought he was fooling the officials or he just forgot. Easy to do in the moment, but he switched his pivot foot, and that will be a turnover. Back to, back into the lineup. Into the lineup for Arizona Western will be number 20, Clem Bouchard, the 6'3 sophomore from France, replacing Thomas. Serbia, France, Brazil on the floor for Western. Australia, Australia on the floor for the Monsters. Juco basketball has definitely become an international sport. Childs with the ball, near side to Caraway, right corner to Machar, wide open for a three, in and out, rebounded by Childs and Glidish. Knocks it out of bounds. It'll be Eastern Arizona basketball baseline left. Checking into the Western lineup will be number 10, Matija Kustidic, the 6'1 freshman from Urbos, Syria. Caraway to inbound baseline left for the Monsters. Lobs it in on top to Rickwood Pitt between the circles. He'll go left, down low to Seamster. Spins on Das Chagas, reverse layup, no good. Follow dunk, no good by Rickwood Pitt either. And pulled down by Kustidic to Glidic in the lane. Knocked out of bounds, off the knee of Glidic. And he is mystified that it's off of him. 
Back into the lineup for the Matadors will be number five, Edwin Suarez. Into the front court, Childs with it on top to Machar. Tied at 18, 10 21 to play in the half. Caraway for three. That's short, rebounded by Seamster. Right baseline, steps through, off the glass, no good. Das Chagas can't hang on to the rebound, but they're going to say he was fouled by Rayshon Seamster. That'll be the first on Seamster. And the fifth team foul. Back into the Matador lineup, number four, Jonoy Thomas. Eastern will put on full court pressure. Suarez will inbound into Thomas. Right side to Atkinson into the front court. Ten minutes to play, first half tied at 18. Marmalejos with the ball right side against Seamster. Fade away three on the way and good for A.J. Marmalejos. Timeout, Matadors. 9.53 to play in the first half. Arizona Western has regained the lead. 21-18 over Eastern Arizona College. We'll be back after this 60-second timeout. Nine minutes, 53 seconds to play in the first half of this one. Arizona Western leads Eastern 21-18. Monster basketball into the front court with Jamari Childs left side on top to Rick Wood Pitt. He'll hold the ball above his head at 6-10, near side to Machar. Machar goes left, his zone defense this time out against for the Matadors. To Childs, cross court to Machar. Machar thinks about driving now to Caden Erickson, who's checked into the lineup left side. He has it stripped, but Marmalejos can't hang on to it. It goes out of bounds. Caden Erickson, the 6'2 freshman from Syracuse, New York, into the lineup for the first time. We did not see him last night either, so the first time in the series. It'll be a goalie to inbound baseline right. Lobs it in on top to Erickson. Right back to a goalie right corner. In the lane to Rickwood Pitt. Three seconds to shoot. Out to Erickson. Somebody's got to shoot it, and Eastern didn't see the clock. Shot clock violation, and a turnover back to the Matadors. 21-18 Western, 9.22 to play. First half, Thomas back into the lineup. He'll have the basketball for the Matadors, right to left. Works against Erickson, way out on top. Right side to Atkinson, back to Thomas, now on top to Marmolejos. Right side to Das Chagas, back to Marmolejos. Near on top to Thomas, left side to Atkinson. In the lane to Das Chagas. Fade away, 15-footer, no good. Machar with the rebound for Eastern. He'll bring it into the front court himself. Left to right. Right corner to Childs. Childs drives the right baseline. Cut off there. On top to Machar. Machar drives right. Into the lane against Das Chagas. Leaves it short. Rebound is loose. Marmalejos on the run. Here come the Matadors. He'll slow down, wait for the rest of the team. And set the offense with eight and a half to play first half. Three-point lead for Western. Thomas drives right baseline. All the way in the corner to Atkinson. Wide open for a three, and he buries it from the left side. 24-18, Western on top by six. Now with 8.20 to play in the first half. Childs into the front court. Now on top to a goalie. Zone defense this trip down. Again for the Matadors. On top to a goalie. A goalie drives, gets in the lane, and he's fouled on the way up. It will go on number one, Cam Atkinson is first. Back into the Eastern Arizona lineup, Rayshon Seamster and Dallin Morgan. Back into the Western lineup will be Mat Matija Kustinich and Matija Gledic. 
Lob on top to Child. Left side to Erickson. Fakes the three and traveled with the basketball. We have turnover back to the Matadors. Thomas back into the lineup. Seems like they're putting uh, Kustinich in every time on defense and then Thomas back in for offense. It's an offense for defense substitution almost per possession. Erickson out of the lineup. Terrence Warren back in for Eastern. 8.05 to play first half. Monsters trail by six. Thomas with it. Right side now to Gledich. Back on top to Suarez, to Marmalejos. Left side to Thomas. Three ball on the way. That's short, no good. Thomas with the rear, excuse me, Seamster with the rebound for Eastern. Off to a goalie into the front court. On top to Seamster. Left side to Childs. Corner to Warren. Left side for a three. In and out, no good. Rebound is loose and chased down all the way out on top by Childs. Eastern will get the reset on the shot clock. Right corner to Morgan. Wide open for a three. Good for Talon Morgan from the right side. Cuts the lead in half, 24-21. Matadors on top with 7.20 to play in the first half. Thomas into the front court, hands it off to Marmalejos. Right side to Gledich. Off to Suarez, on top to Das Chagas. Left side to Thomas, on top now to Marmalejos. Goes right on the dribble, cut off there by Warren, gets into the lane, down to Suarez. Suarez pump fake, off the glass and good for Edwin Suarez. 26-21 Matadors with 6.54 to play in the first half. Warren with the ball right side. Matadors have almost gone exclusively zone the last three trips. A goalie for three, back iron, no. Rebound is loose, Gladich pulls it down for the Matadors. Leaves it to Suarez. Into the hands of Thomas, right side. Off to Gledich, on top to Das Chagas. Left side to Marmalejos. Way outside against a goalie, goes left on the dribble. Cut off, spins right, back in the lane. Nothing there, knocked out of bounds. Travel violation called on Marmalejos. That's twice tonight, he switched pivot feet in the lane. Good defense there by the Monsters. Into the lineup for the Matadors will be Leroy Glover along with Matija Kucinic and Cam Atkinson. 26-21, Eastern Trails, 6.15 to play in the first half. A goalie with the ball near side to Morgan. Morgan in the lane to Seamster. Seamster against Glover, spins left, fadeaway jumper, in and out, no good. Glover with the rebound, loses it, but Atkinson chases it down for the Matadors. Pushes it into the front court. Now center court against Warren, and Warren gonna be called for a reach in as Atkinson hits the deck. That'll be the third on Terrence Warren. He's gonna have to head out of this one, heads to the bench. Amari Caraway will check in, replacing Warren. 5.57 to play first half, 26-21. Arizona Western on top. Suarez to inbound. Front court right into Thomas. Thomas on top to Atkinson, hands it off to Marmalejos, goes left. In the lane to Glover. Glover kicks it out to Atkinson, left side for three, good for Cam Atkinson. The ball movement for Arizona Western against the Monsters has been good in the first half and it's an eight point Arizona Western lead. Near side a goalie, in the lane to Seamster. Right corner to Childs for three, good for Jamari Childs from the right corner. 29-24, Monsters down five with 5.22 to play in the first half. Glover. Into the front court, left side to Marmalejos. Now right to Atkinson. Reverses it back right side to Thomas. Thomas gets caught in the air, gets it to Glover anyways, and the big man flushes it home, two hands in the lane. 31-24, Western leads with five minutes to play in the first half. Into the front court, a goalie with it. Left side to Caraway. Caraway comes right on the dribble around the top of the arc. Right side to Childs. Childs in the lane to Seamster. Seamster double teamed. Goes to work against Glover. Wraps it around to Morgan. Dallin for three. Over the rim, no good. Pulled down by Suarez underneath by the, for the Matadors. Into the hands of Thomas. On top to Suarez. Right side to Marmalejos. Four and a half to play. Now on top to Glover. Way outside. Left side to Thomas. Thomas goes right. Tries to shake Caraway. 
can't. Caraway stays with him. Offensive foul called on Thomas. Great defense by Amari Caraway. That's going to be the third on Genoi Thomas. He'll head out of the lineup, be replaced by Matija Kostudic. Great job. That is one of the best jobs I've seen all year by Amari Caraway staying in front of the defender, drawing the forearm by Genoi Thomas. Timeout, Monsters. 4.19 to play in the first half. Eastern Trails 31-24. We'll be back after this 60-second timeout. Welcome back inside your toe. Lee Patterson with you. Whole crew with us today. K-Dog in the studio. Amanda Patterson on stats. Thanks for joining us. 4.17 to play in the first half. 31-24. Matadors on top of the Monsters. Near side, a goalie with the basketball. Dribbles left. On top to Caraway. Caraway steps into a deep three. Short. Rebounded by Glidich down low for the Matadors. Into the front court to Kustudich. Now to Marmalejos, left corner, Gledic, long three, short. Rebound is loose and out of bounds off of Arizona Western. It will be Eastern basketball. 3.49 to play in the half. Six point, seven point, Matador lead. That might be their largest. A goalie with the ball right side against the zone on top to Caraway. Trying to find Morgan in the middle. A goalie swings it around to Morgan left side, drives the left baseline, cut off on top to Caraway. Caraway drives, gets to the glass, and he's fouled on the way up. The foul will go on 13. Leroy Glover, his first. That'll put AC3 at the line to shoot two for Eastern. Monsters looking to end the scoring drought, and they do as Caraway sinks the first. 31-25. And last night's game, Eastern trailed the entire first half, cut it to one at the break. Almost the same script so far tonight. Caraway's second free throw is good. 31-26, five points for Caraway. Glidich with the basketball will walk it up against Caraway at the time stripe. Right side to Atkinson. Atkinson picks up his dribble. Now out on top to Kostudic. He'll come left against Caraway. Double team comes. Now back to Marmalejos. Three ball on the way. Off no good. Rebounded by Seamster. Off to a goalie. Quickly up to Caraway. Caraway has his pocket picked, but it's out of bounds. Off of Kostudic. It will be Eastern basketball. Front court left. In on top to Caraway for the Monsters, left to right. Between the circles, left side to a goalie, on top to Caraway. Caraway looking for somebody to get in the middle of the zone. Nobody does, he'll dribble all the way to the right side. On top to Childs, 10 to shoot, now to Morgan. Middle of the floor, back to Childs. Childs drives, kicks it to Morgan, left side, fires the three, good for Talon Morgan. 31-29, Matadors with 2.35 to play in the first half. Almost exactly the same as last night's strip. Kostudic into the front court, and he's gonna be fouled by Noah Goli on the reach in. They were trying to trap him on the near side. That'll be the first on Noah Goli. That'll be the seventh team foul, so that'll put the Matadors at the line to shoot one and one. Das Chagas back into the lineup. Replacing Glover.
Kostudic, one and one at the line. First one is up and in for the Matadors, 32-29 Western. Kostudic back to the line for his second. Fires and good. Two for two at the line for him. 33-29 Eastern trails with 2.27 to play in the first half of this one. A goalie into the front court. Gets a screen from Seamster way out on top. Goes left to Caraway. Caraway back to a goalie. In the paint to Seamster. Near side to Morgan. Steps into a three. Short. Dos Chagas with the rebound for Western. Into the hands of Marmolejos. Into the front court, right-handed dribble. Stolen away by Amari Caraway. AC3 on the run to the glass. Blocked by Marmolejos. No goaltend. And the Matadors get it back. That was an athletic move by A.J. Marmolejos. Goes left around AC3. And a foul going to be called on Caraway as Marmolejos will go to the line to shoot one and one. That'll be the first on Caraway. Back into the Eastern lineup, Machar and Rickwood Pitt replacing Caraway and Seamster. Back to the line, AJ Marmolejos. 146 to play first half, 33-29, Monsters trail to Arizona Western. First one by Marmolejos is good, he'll get one more. Marmolejos ready at the line for his second. 34-29, Matadors on top. As Marmolejos, a couple of bounces around the horn. Lane violation called against the Matadors on Matija Gledich. Free throw no good. Gledich will head to the bench, being replaced by Edwin Suarez. It'll be... Monster basketball left to right, 145 to play in the half. Eastern down, 34-29. Into the front court, left side to Machar. On top to a goalie. A goalie back to Machar, steps into a three from there. That's short. Kostudic with the rebound. On the run for Eastern into the front court. Hands it off to Atkinson. Atkinson on top to Suarez, round right side to Marmolejos. Marmolejos. Now on top to Das Chagas, three ball on the way. Good for the big man, six foot 10 freshman. Hits the three to make it 37-29. Matadors on top, their largest lead at eight now. On top, Rick Wood Pitt with the basketball. Right side to, a go to Childs, Childs goes left to Morgan. Three ball on the way, in and out, no good. And out of bounds off of Western on the rebound. Eastern not able to get into the paint against this zone. They've been settling for long threes and haven't been able to get the offensive rebound. That's how the West Western has stretched out the lead. And then a steal on the inbound pass. Kostudic with it. Drives the lane. Right side to Marmolejos to the glass. He's fouled on the way up by Dallin Morgan. That'll be the second on Morgan in the 10th team foul. Check that ninth team foul. Still... One more before the double bonus, and Marmolejos will go to the line to shoot two for Western. Marmolejos, three bounces, steps back, one bounce, free throw is good. Rayshon Seamster back into the Eastern lineup, replacing Dallin Morgan. 38-29, a nine-point Matador lead. Now their largest, 51 seconds to play in the half. Eastern was the second half team yesterday. They're going to have to be again today. Second one is good by Marmolejos as well. 10-point Arizona Western lead. 51 seconds to play in the first half. A goalie into the front court. On top to Childs. Childs, left side to Seamster. Seamster comes right to Machar. Machar goes right on the dribble. Cut off there in the lane to Seamster. Seamster drives in the lane over Dos, Dos Chagas. Can't hit the floater rebounded by Atkinson and there's for about two seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Matadors can pretty much take it down to the final shot of the half. Marmolejos into the front court, works against a goalie out on top. Ten to shoot, down to eight. Marmolejos one on one, isolation in the lane. Suarez lays it up and in. Arizona Western 
has been on fire here in the first half and a foul on the backcourt against Kustidich. That'll be his first. So Eastern will have .7 to get the shot off. They're going to put .5 on the game clock from what I can tell. No, 1.5 on the game clock. A goalie will inbound. Lobs it into Machar. Catch, shoot, three at the buzzer. Good for a cook, Machar. The Monsters had 1.5 to get it off, and he puts it up and in. And the Monsters only trail by single digits at halftime. 41-32. Arizona Western leads it. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back for the Kimpton Chevrolet halftime report right after this. Making the jump from high school to university can be overwhelming. That's why Eastern Arizona College is a great place to start. EA offers personalized education at a quarter of the cost. Small classes with hands-on experience, surrounded by people who genuinely care. Plus, there's always something fun to do on and off campus. Whether you're planning to transfer to a university or learn a new trade, Eastern Arizona College is the place for you. It's changed my life. Let it change yours. Welcome into the Kimpton Chevrolet Hampton Report. Lee Patterson with you. Kimpton Chevrolet, your straight shooting de dealer in the Gila Valley or online at KimptonChevrolet.com. At halftime, Arizona Western leads Eastern 41-32. to Let's take a dive into the stats. For the Matadors, eight points for Marmalejo, six for Atkinson, seven for Thomas, two for Gledich, two for Glover, 11 for Suarez. He's the only player in the game in double digits. Two points for Kostudich, three points for Das Chagas. For Eastern Arizona, Noah Goley did not score in the first half. Six points for Rayshon Seamster, two for Terrence Warren, six for Dallin Morgan, four for Lee Rickwood Pitt, three for Jamari Childs, five for Amari Caraway, and six for Akuk Machar. Eastern has nobody in double digits at halftime. The Monsters were out rebounded 17 to 10. Eastern did have 10 assists on 12 made shots, though, sharing the ball well in the half. For the Matadors, eight assists on 13 made baskets. Matadors were five of nine from three, 55%. Eastern shot 18 threes in the first half. 
And that's what I was talking about. They were settling for threes against that zone. They made just five of them, 27% in the game. Points in the paint. Arizona Western had 12, Eastern had 10. Bench points, Arizona Western with 16, Eastern with 14. The score tied three times. There was three lead changes. The last field goal for Arizona Western came at four seconds, but the last field goal for Eastern Arizona came at the buzzer as Machar hit the three. The largest lead of the game was 12 by Arizona Western. That came at the four second mark of the first half. Eastern led by four at 18-29. Early on in this game, that was their largest lead of the ball game. Eastern turned the ball over six times, not terrible. Seven turnovers for Arizona Western. Eastern committed nine fouls in the first half, just five for the Matadors. The difference is the shooting, really. The Matadors shot 52%, and the Monsters shot 33%. And that's really the difference. They got outscored 41-32 in the first half. And they're going to need to, you know, find some ways to get in the paint. They've got the size to get in the paint against this Matador zone. They just have to find that space. We'll take another break here on the Kempton Chevrolet Halftime Report. We'll come back with more here from Eastern Arizona right after this. Welcome back inside here at the Kimpton Chevrolet Halftime Report. Lee Patterson with you. Kimpton Chevrolet is your straight shooting dealer in the Gila Valley or online at KimptonChevrolet.com. Eastern Trails 41-32 with the break to Arizona Western. Let's take a look at some other scores across the nation today. Arizona State beat USC earlier today, 82-67. Arizona, number 12, Arizona beat UCLA, 77-71. Coyotes beat the Predators 3-2. And later tonight, or, later to, or tomorrow night, the Pacers are at the Suns. NFL football going on right now. 
The Ravens beat the Texans, are leading the Texans 24 to 10. The Packers are at the Niners later tonight. NCAA men's basketball. Top 25 going on right now. Earlier today, number 21, Dayton beat Rhode Island 96-62. Number 15, Oklahoma beat Cincinnati 69-65. Number 5, Houston over UCF 57-42. Number 6, Tennessee over Alabama 91-71. Number 24, Iowa State beat number 19, TCU, 73-72. Number two, Purdue beat Iowa, 84-70. Number four, North Carolina over Boston College, 76-66. West Virginia upset number three, Kansas, 91-85. Number 16, Utah State beat Fresno State, 83-62. Later today, number one, UConn is at Villanova. Pitt is at number seven, Duke. Number 22, Ole Miss is at number 13, Auburn. Other games today, non non top 25 games. Looking for any specific scores. I don't see any. Southern Miss beat Troy 64-63. That game is significant only because former Eastern Arizona College player Theo Seng played in that game, finished with three points for the Troy Trojans in that game. Our next broadcast after tonight will be Tuesday night over at Safford High School as they take on Push Ridge. And we then will have next Thursday, we will have Thatcher at Pima on the 25th. And then next Saturday, the 27th, these same Gila Monsters are on the road at Scottsdale for a 4 o'clock tip-off in Scottsdale. We'll take one more time out here at halftime. Eastern trails 41-32. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back inside Gateau Gymnasium. Lee Patterson with you. Kind of an extended halftime there. We had a horse race at halftime. Several of them, actually. Stick horse race. Little barrel race at halftime. Pretty cool. I almost thought about coming back and doing live play-by-play -play of the barrel race, but my better judgment uh, won over. Eastern Trails 41-32 at the break. And as we talked about during halftime, the biggest difference is the Monsters have struggled against this Arizona Western zone. Western set in the in the zone for majority of the first half of that game, and Eastern put up 18 threes in the first half. I think if the Monsters are going to come back in this one, 
They've got to not settle. I mean, they were open threes, but not settle for the three and find some points in the paint. Against this Matador zone. Eastern only down nine, though. I mean, that three at the buzzer by Machar was huge. Obviously, it, it cuts the lead back to single digits. That's a nine. And you're just, you know, three possessions away from tying the game if you can get a couple of stops. So we'll see what the Monsters can do here to start the second half. They've been a second-half team all year. Uh, they've they've come back in several games in their back-to-back -back games. We'll see what they can do here in the second half of this one. It will be Eastern basketball to start the second half. Eastern will start the second half with Terrence Warren, Noah Goley, along with Dallin Morgan, Rayshon Seamster, and Lee Rickwood Pitt. Monster basketball right to left. A.J. Marmolejos, Cam Atkinson, Matia Kostudic gets the start in the second half for the Matadors. And a throw away by Rickwood Pitt trying to find Morgan turnover on the opening, opening possession for the Monsters. Into the front court, stolen back by Rayshon. He's in the paint and he jams it home. Two-handed for Rayshon Seamster. A big steal and a dunk for the Monsters, 41-34. Kostudic into the front court, works against Warren. Left side to Atkinson, back on top, near right side to Marmolejos. Marmolejos drives right side against a goalie, wraps it into the corner, and he's standing on the line. Out of bounds is Cam Atkinson. It'll be a turnover back to Eastern Arizona. A couple of turnovers by the Matadors to start the second half. Eastern trails 41-34. A goalie into the front court to Morgan, off to Rick Woodpit, right side to Warren. Warren drives left side, gets into the lane, through the lane now into the corner to a goalie. A goalie on top to Warren, three ball on the way. Good for Terrence Warren. If the Monsters are able to hit some of the threes, they will get the Matadors out of the timeout, and the Matadors want to talk, or excuse me, out of the zone, and the Matadors want to take a timeout. Just one minute into the second half, Monsters have cut the lead 41-37. Just a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. But the Matadors start the second half in that same zone. The Monsters able to uh, hit a three over it. And if that's the case, that will get that's the fastest way to get a team out of the zone is to start hitting shots over the top of it. The Monsters are capable of it. They just have to do it. 41-37, Western leads. 19.01 to play in the ball game. It'll be Matador basketball length of the floor, left to right. Eastern will put on some full court pressure. After the timeout, Gledich to inbound, into Atkinson. Now off to Genoi Thomas, who's checked back in. He's playing with three fouls. So is Warren that's guarding him. Goes left around the screen, does Thomas. Now against Lee Rick Woodpit, left baseline as Warren picks him back up now. Out on top to Marmolejos. Gets a screen from Glover, goes right around it, in the lane, spins left, pump fake, gets a goalie in the air, and a traveling violation called against Marmolejos. This is a third traveling violation called against Marmolejos in this one. 41-37, Monsters trail. A goalie will walk it into the front court. Left side to Seamster. Seamster on top to a goalie, right side to Warren. Warren down low to Rickwood Pitt. Faces the basket against Glover, goes to work, fade away, hook shot over his left shoulder, no good. A goalie there for the putback, though, on the offensive rebound and putback. Cuts the Matador lead to two, 41-39. Thomas into the front court to Gledich. Off to Marmolejos, now crosses over, right, gets into the lane to the glass and lays it up and in. Tough. Tough, tough is A.J. Marmolejos. And he puts the Matador lead back to four, 43-39. Morgan into the front court against the zone, left side to Seamster. In the lane to a goalie, 15-foot jumper on the way. Good for Noah Goalie. Got to get to the middle of the zone, and the Monsters have done that here in the second half. Down to a two-point Matador lead, 43-41.
Gledich into the front court, right side to Marmalejos. Goes left, top of the key against Degoli. Now on top to Glover, left side to Thomas. Thomas comes right, Warren catches up with him. 13 to shoot. Gets another screen, instead swings around to Glidditch. Right side to Marmalejos, three ball on the way. Back iron, no good. Rebound is loose, pulled down by whom? And no, whistle and a foul. And a, another whistle as there's bodies on the floor. Lee Rickwood Pitt is fired up. I think we've got double technicals called on this one. Here's Eugene Edgerson, the official, to sort it out for us. There's a foul on 13 red, Leroy Glover, after that common foul. Technical foul on Lee Rickwood Pitt, Class A. And Edgerson still talking to the table. So a common foul on Leroy Glover and then a technical foul called on Lee Rickwood Pitt. No technical, no double technical. Both of those are team fouls. Both of those are personal fouls. And now the officials talking it over. Eugene, Eugene Edgerson, the lead official here this afternoon, a member of the University of Arizona National Championship team. Before playing for the Harlem Globetrotters as well. And now Coach Ed, or Edgerson talking to Coach Turner. Class A dead ball contact technical, according to Gene Edgerson. So now they've got it sorted out. The Matadors will go to the line to shoot the technical free throws, and that will be A.J. Marmalejos. All right, both coaches are good. All the officials are good. Now Marmalejos to the line to shoot two after sorting out And now, Ed, now the official talking to Rickwood Pitt about why he got called for a technical. He seems satisf satisfied with that explanation. And Marmalejos at the line for his second. That one is good. He hits them both on the technical violation. Into the Eastern lineup of Cook Machar and Jamari Childs replacing Warren and Rickwood Pitt. It'll be Matador basketball, front court left after the technical. Matia Gledich will inbound. 45 41. Eastern trails down by four. Gledich to inbound. He gets it into Thomas just under the five second clock. On top, hands it off to Marmalejos. Near side to Atkinson. Right corner to Gledich. Gledich back on top to Glover. Glover left side to Thomas. 10 to shoot on top to Marmalejos. Goes right on the dribble, now crosses over, gets into the lane. Running floater is blocked by Rayshon Seamster. And a foul called. The foul going to be on number one, Noah Agoli. No shot. No shots. That's the second on a goalie. They're going to say it was on the floor. No shots. And now the official has ejected a fan from the far side. One of the rowdy reptiles has been ejected from this game. It'll be Arizona Western basketball baseline left. Thomas to inbound. Into Gledich, left side. And a traveling violation called against the Matadors. It's been a hectic couple of minutes in the last, <laughs> I don't know, the last three or four minutes. A lot of crazy calls, a lot of interruptions. But it's a four-point Matador lead with 16.51 to play. Into the front court, left side, Childs with it. Now on top to Morgan. Morgan swings it around right side to Machar, into the corner to a goalie, right side. Now on top to Morgan. 
Morgan, left side to Child, drives the left baseline, gets all the way around to a goalie, right corner for three. Good for Noah Goalie. Big shot for the Monsters from the corner to cut the Matadors lead to one, 45-44, 16-25 to play. Thomas into the front court on top to Atkinson. Near side to Thomas, hands it off to Marmolejos. Off to Glover. Glover goes left against Morgan. Now back on top to Thomas. He comes right around to screen. Keeps coming. Runs into a triple team. Out on top to Glover, who handed it back to Marmolejos. Gets around to screen. Top of the key. But a goalie there with him. Seven to shoot. Marmolejos. Right corner to Thomas. Thomas drives in the lane. Running floater is good for Genoi Thomas. Got to the rim and just flicked it up and in for two, 47-44 Matadors. Into the front court, Seamster on top to a goalie. Stolen away by Thomas. Here comes Thomas on the run against a goalie and one for Genoi Thomas. A goalie turned it over and then committed the foul back on the other end. Just as the Monsters got even, that'll be the third on a goalie. Thomas to the line to try to make it a three-point play. Edwin Suarez back into the Western lineup. Amari Caraway into the Eastern lineup. Thomas to the line. Free throw bounces around the entire rim and falls in. 50 to 44, back to a six point lead for the Matadors with 15.46 to play. Matija Kostudic back into the Matadors lineup. Caraway into the front court, top of the key. Left side to Seamster, on top to Caraway, left side to Seamster, back on top to Caraway. Caraway, right side, crossover, near side to Childs, Childs to Seamster in the lane, and he traveled with the basketball. Seamster took that first hop before putting the ball on the floor. It's a turnover back to the Matadors. Timeout called by Eastern Arizona. 15-21 to play. Arizona Western back on top by 6, 50 to 44. We'll be back after this timeout. Fifteen minutes and 21 seconds left here at Eastern Arizona College. Monsters trail by six to Arizona Western. Eastern trying to take their winning streak to 11 games, but it's been a dogfight here this afternoon with the Matadors. I guess a bullfight with the Matadors would make more sense. Matador basketball after the timeout, left to right. Genoi Thomas with it, full court pressure by the Monsters. Near side to Suarez. Suarez against Caraway. Comes right with the trap on top to Glover. Left side to Atkinson. Atkinson near side to Marmolejos. 15 to shoot. Suarez sets a screen. Marmolejos goes right. A illegal screen called on Suarez. As he wasn't set as Marmolejos went around, that'll be the first on Suarez. Turnover back to the Monsters. Caraway with the basketball. Into the front court for Eastern. Left side to Childs, down to Seamster, left baseline. Cross court to Machar, wide open for a three, short. Rebound is loose, chased down by Seamster in the corner and tied up by Marmolejos. Alternating possession back to the Matadors. It'll be Matador basketball, length of the floor, left to right. Six point lead for Western. Thomas works it up against Machar at the time stripe. Trap comes near side to Suarez. He's able to handle it on the high pass. Back to Thomas. Now comes right on the dribble, hands it off to Marmolejos. Comes right on the dribble into the lane, works against Caraway through the lane on top to Glover. Near side to Thomas with five to shoot. Thomas goes left, gets in the lane, fade away from the left elbow, and he buries it for Genoi Thomas. 
52-44, back to an eight-point Matador lead with 14-10 to play. Carraway into the front court, top of the key. Right side to Machar. He'll come left on the dribble, find some room, kicks it to Carraway, left corner to Childs, three ball on the way, no good. Rebounded by Seamster, weak side, and he's fouled by Atkinson on the floor. Good rebound there by Seamster. That'll be the second on Cam Atkinson. Back into the Eastern Arizona lineup will be Terrence Warren replacing Rayshon Seamster and Matia Gledich and Matia Kastudic back in as well, replacing Glover and Atkinson. Caraway will inbound baseline right for the Monsters. 20 on the shot clock, trailing by eight. Puts the play in motion. Lobs it in on top to Warren. Catches outside against Marmalejos. Gets around him. And a whistle and a foul on a reach in against Gledich. That'll be his first. Fifth team foul. I mean, team foul number four. Eastern basketball, lob in on top to Morgan, left side to Warren. In the paint to Childs. Childs in the lane to a cook, Machar, and he traveled with the basketball. Janoy Thomas back into the Matador lineup. Matador basketball into the front court. A whistle away from the basketball called on Jamari Childs in the paint. That was away from the ball. That'll be his first fourth team foul. Matador basketball baseline right. Rick Wood Pitt back into the monster lineup replacing Childs. Thomas will inbound baseline right. Near side to Gledich, drives the right baseline on top to Glover. Glover back to Gledich against Morgan, right side. Reverse layup, stepped on the line, out of bounds. Nice defense for Dallin Morgan. Eastern basketball after the turnover, Caraway into the front court, right to left. Picks up his dribble, finds Rickwood Pitt though in the lane. Knocked away by Glover. Chased down by the Monsters. Caraway with it. Out on top. Drives through a double team. Right side to Morgan. And Morgan traveled with the basketball. Caught the ball on the right baseline. Took too many steps to the rim and a turnover back to the Matadors with 13-13 to play. An eight point Matador lead. At some point the Monsters have to start chipping away at it. Near steal on the near side, but Marmalejos chases it down. Back to Thomas on top, over to Gledich. Thomas spins left, goes baseline, cut off there, back to Glover. Off to Thomas, out on top. Near side to Marmalejos. Goes right, illegal screen. Nope, they're gonna call it on Caraway. That's gotta be an illegal screen on Gledich because he's moving. That'll be the second on Caraway. And the fifth team foul. In my opinion, Caraway was in contact with the screener because the screener was moving with Caraway. Suarez to inbound on top to Marmalejos. Gets a screen, goes right with it, pulls up for three, in and out, no good. Gledich with the rebound, reverse layup, no good, but a foul called on Rick Wood Pitt. That'll be the second on Lee Rick Wood Pitt, and that'll put Matija Gledich at the line to shoot the 6'8 sophomore from Serbia. 12.42 to play, still plenty of time for the Monsters, but they've got to start chipping away. Getting stomps and hitting shots. Gledich free throw rattles out, no good. Back into the Matador lineup, Kostudic and Das Chagas. Back into the Eastern lineup is Rayshon Seamster. Gladys back to the line for a second. Fires, that one uh, rolls in for Mattia Gledich. 53-44, nine point Matador lead, 12.38 to play. Caraway into the front court, right side for the Monsters. Gets a screen, comes left with it to Machar. Machar has it poked away by Suarez. It'll stay with 
the Monsters front court left. Warren inbounds on top to Carraway. Carraway goes right around to Morgan screen, gets in the lane, pulls up from 12 right side, buries it for Mari Carraway. Big jumper there for Carraway to cut the lead 53 46 with 12 12 to play. Marmolejos into the front court. Goes left around a high screen. Caraway follows. On top to Suarez. Suarez against Machar. Goes left to the glass. Off the glass and good for Edwin Suarez. 55 46. Back to nine for the Matadors. Machar with the ball right side. Goes right. Find some room into the lane. Scoop shot won't go. Rebound is loose. Das Chagas chases it down for the Matadors in the corner. Monsters have been one and done, have struggled on the offensive glass today. And they trail by nine with 11.31 to play. Suarez against Machar, crosses him over, gets in the paint, blocked on the way up. Morgan pulls down with the rebound. Off to Caraway in transition. Left side on top to Morgan, to Machar. Machar drives in the lane to the glass and good for a cook, Machar. 55-48. Monsters trail. Kostudic pushes it into the front court against Rayshon Seamster, and Seamster going to get called for a hand check at the mid-court stripe. That'll be the second on Rayshon Seamster. Noah Goley back into the Monster lineup, back into the Matador lineup, number 13, Leroy Glover, number one, Cam Atkinson. Amari Carraway back to the Eastern bench. Das Chagas and... Gledich back to the Matador bench. End of the line to shoot one and one is Kostudic. The first free throw is up and good. That foul situation is significant because now every foul on the Monsters, the remaining 11-04 of this game are going to be free throws for the Matadors. Only four fouls called against the Eastern Arizona and a technical foul called against Arizona Western. A, a, a technical foul called against Arizona Western. After the free throw missed, uh, it was Matija Kostudic used a choice word that is not allowed to say on any broadcast. <laughs> and it was loud enough for the officials to hear, and he's called for a technical. It's one of those deals where if it was a packed arena and there was 10,000 people in here and nobody heard it, probably not going to be called. But we're in but still a pretty good crowd today, but at that point it was a free throw. It was quiet. Everybody heard it. Hopefully our microphones didn't. <laughs> and Warren hits the first free throw and the second for the Monsters. Into the Matador lineup, Genoi Thomas replacing Kostudic. It'll be Eastern basketball, length of the floor, right to left after the technical. Now there's been a technical called on either side so far in this one. 56-50, Monsters back to within six with 11 minutes to play. Morgan with the ball, right side. Right side, Warren with the ball, kicks it into the corner. Now out to Machar, Machar drives, steps through over Glover, blocked on the way up, and Thomas pulls it down for the Matadors into the front court. Thomas picked up by Warren on the left side. Looking for a screen from Glover, gets it, goes right. Warren falls with him though. Crossover, step back, right elbow on the way, short. Rebounded down low by Suarez. His follow won't go. Dallin Morgan there for the monster rebound. Off to a goalie. A goalie sprints it into the front court, loses the handle, chases it down right side though. Down low to Seamster. Seamster traveled with the basketball. Into the Eastern Arizona College lineup will be number 10, Caden Erickson, the 6'2 freshman from Utah, replacing a Cook Machar. Cam Atkinson back into the Matador lineup. 10-16 to play, six-point lead for Arizona Western. Thomas with the ball into the front court, picked up by Erickson. On top, near side to Marmolejos. Now on top to Glover. Glover goes right, hands it off to Thomas. Thomas goes left in the lane, pulls up from the elbow, is no good. Rebounded by Seamster. Off to a goalie. A goalie sprints it into the front court. 
Right side to Warren. Warren, transition three on the way, no good. Rebound is loose. Out of bounds off of Dallin Morgan. It will be Matador basketball. Gledich took a big hit on that rebound. He's a little slow to get up. Cam Atkinson fell on the top of Gledich after that rebound attempt. Seems to be okay. Into Genoi Thomas, 9.50 to play. Eastern down six. Right side, Marmalejos. Goes left on the dribble, picked up by a goalie in the lane, kicks it in the corner to Thomas left side. Back on top to Atkinson. Atkinson, long two-point jumper, no good. Erickson with the rebound for the Monsters. Off to a goalie. Sprints it into the front court near side. Sets up against the zone. It's been effective this afternoon for the Matadors on defense. On top, swings it around to Warren right side. Gets a screen from Seamster, goes left with it to Erickson. Caden for three. Front iron, no good. Nobody underneath in a white jersey. Glover gets the easy rebound for the Matadors. 9.09 to play, 56-50, Eastern Trails. Glover with the ball on top to Marmalejos. Right side to Gledich. Gledich back on top to Marmalejos. Works against a goalie. Gets a screen from Glover, goes left with it. In the lane, steps through, running floater off the glass, no good. Follow dunk won't go by Glover. Gledich with the rebound, steps through, left-handed off the glass and good. 58-50, Monsters trail with 8.40 to play. Into the front court to goalie with the right side. Near side to Erickson, into the corner to Warren. Warren cut off there by Gledich and then fouled by the Serbian, that'll be his second. Back into the Eastern lineup, Lee Rickwood Pitt, replacing Rayshon Seamster. And back into the Matador lineup will be Kostudic. It'll be Eastern basketball, front court left, one more sub for the Matadors, will be Joao Das Chagas. Monster basketball, into Morgan, back to Warren. Warren goes left, down to Morgan. Morgan in the lane against Das Chagas. Can't hit the hook shot. Rebound is loose and out of bounds off of the Matadors. Eastern will keep it with 20 on the shot clock. Erickson will inbound baseline left for the Monsters. They need a shot. Down eight. Into the corner to Rickwood Pitt. Reverses it on top to a goalie. A goalie goes right side to Morgan. Steps into a three and buries it for Dallin Morgan. Big shot, Dallin. That's two or three big shots he's hit tonight. Monsters back to within five. Atkinson into the front court, goes left. Now right side to Gledich. Gledich goes right against Morgan on the block. Now near side to Kustetic. Now goes right, double teamed, knocked away by Warren, but gets a back offensive foul called on Kustetic as he wrapped around, used the chicken wing to clear himself. That'll be his third. And the seventh team foul. So now both teams are in the bonus. The remaining 751. Eastern did a nice job of not fouling the last three and a half, almost four minutes when they picked up their seventh with 11 plus to play. 748 to play. Monsters down five as a goalie brings it into the front court. Goes left around to Morgan screen to Childs. Childs drives, kicks it right side to Morgan for three again. Yes, for Dallin Morgan. Cuts the monster lead, our church, the Western lead to two, 7.31 to play. Marmaleos into the front court, near side for the Matadors. Goes right on a goalie, and he traveled with the basketball. A turnover back to Eastern Arizona. Glover back into the lineup along with Genoi Thomas. If I'm the Monsters, I find Dallin Morgan on this trip. Into the front court, Childs with it. On top to a goalie, goes right on the dribble. Goes around a screen to Childs. Childs drives in the lane, finds Morgan for three. Partially blocked on the way out of bounds by Genoi Thomas. He recovered nicely. And it will be Eastern basketball baseline right. Everybody in the gym was thinking the same thing. Find Dallin Morgan, see if he can make it three for three. Childs to inbound. Lobs it in on top, poked away by Marmalejos. And out of bounds, it will stay with Eastern with 15 on the shot clock. This time front court left with Terrence Warren to inbound. Into the backcourt to a goalie who brings it into the front court. Goes right around a Rickwood pit screen. 
Into the corner to Warren for three. Yes, for Terrence Warren, and the Monsters have taken the lead. 59-58 with 6.55 to play. Thomas into the front court. Right side, hands it off to Marmalejos. The crowd has come to come alive. Gledic with it left side. On top to Glover. Glover finds Gledic out on top. 10 to shoot. Gledic against Morgan. Three on the way. Back iron. No. Warren with the rebound. Eastern with the ball on the lead. 6.29 to play. A goalie into the front court, directing some traffic. Goes right. Now left. Spins. Kicks it right side, Childs for three. Yes, Jamari Childs. Timeout, Matadors. 62-58, Monsters on top. 6-16 to play in the ball game. We'll be back after this 60-second timeout. Eastern Arizona on top, 62-58 with 6-16 to play. They've hit six threes down the stretch here in this one to take the lead over the Matadors. Janoy Thomas into the front court, looking for Marmalejos. Picked up by Warren, though, out on top. Goes left to Atkinson. Atkinson against Warren now out on top. Goes left on the dribble, on top to the big man Glover. Left side to Thomas. Thomas drives the lane, steps through. On the way up, no good. Rebound is loose by Childs. And it's thrown out of bounds off of Glover. It'll be Eastern basketball. Smart move by Jamari Childs. He was falling out of bounds. Threw it to the man who was standing out of bounds for Arizona Western. There'll be a turnover back to Eastern. 5.48 to play. Monsters lead 62-58. Into the front court. Rick Wood pit with it. Back to a goalie left side. Goes right on the drive. Finds some room. Kicks it in the corner to Childs for three. That's short. Rebounded by Rick Wood pit. The Monsters get a reset. Out to a goalie on top. He wants to run head tap. Looking for a screen from Rick Wood Pitt. Goes left with it. And a reach in foul called against Marmalejos. That'll be his first. That'll be the eighth team foul. And that will put Noah Goalie at the line to shoot one and one for the Monsters. 62 58. A goalie with six points tonight for the Monsters. A goalie's first on the way and rattles home. He'll get one more. Up 63-58. And the second on the way, back iron no good. Suarez with the rebound. The end of the gym scoreboard went out for a second. Now it's back. Glover with the ball on top, left side to Thomas, drives the left baseline, cut off. Out to Atkinson, fires the three, good for Cam Atkinson for the Matadors left time. 63 60, for the Matadors, 63-61, Monsters by two with five minutes to play. A goalie into the front court against Marmalejos. Back to man-to-man -to -man defense for the Matadors. Near side, Morgan fires a three, yes for Talon Morgan! The basket looks like it's the ocean for Dallin Morgan right now. 66-61, Monsters. Thomas into the front court, on top to Suarez. Suarez near side to Marmalejos against a goalie. Goes left, gets into the lane, kicks it in the corner to Thomas. Knocked away. Thomas gets it back, though. Out on top, Atkinson fires a three. Good. Back-to-back -back threes for Atkinson. 
and it's back to a two-point monster lead, 66-64. What a great basketball game. 4.18 to play, Monsters by two. Into the front court, off to Childs. Childs hands it off to Warren, who hands it back to a goalie around a screen, right side, 18-foot jumper, short, rebounded by Marmalejos, and he's fouled by Terrence Warren. And that'll put Marmalejos at the line to shoot one and one. That'll be the fourth on Terrence Warren. Marmalejos tonight for the Matadors. 12 points. Round, round the waist, couple bounces. Step back. Fires the first. It is good. He'll earn the second. You know, when you're shooting free throws, it's all about the rhythm, and he's definitely shot thousands of free throws in that same rhythm. It works for him. Second free throw on the way, and good for Marmalejos. Two for two. Ties the game at 66 with 4.06 to play. Rayshon Seamster back into the monster lineup, replacing Terrence Warren. Eastern basketball into the front court. A goalie gets around Marmalejos on top to Rick Woodpit. Poked away by Marmalejos down the left side. Keeps it in bounds to Atkinson. Atkinson corrals it for the Matadors, tied at 66, 3.42 to play. Atkinson gets around Childs, left side, steps through, near side to Glover, out on top to Thomas. Thomas comes left, now check right, picked up by Seamster, goes left around a screen, gives it to Glover in the lane, loses it, out of bounds off of Rickwood Pitt. The official on the baseline says it's off of Eastern, and it will stay with the Matadors with six on the shot clock. Tied at 66, Thomas to inbound baseline right for the Matadors. Into the corner to Atkinson, left side. Drives, spins on Childs, turnaround jumper, no good. Rebounded by Seamster, and a foul called on Genoi Thomas on the rebound. That'll put Rayshon at the line to shoot one and one. That'll be the fourth on Genoi Thomas. It'll be the ninth team foul against the Matadors. One more, the East, the Monsters will be in the double bonus the rest of the way. Rayshon Seamster to the line. Eight points tonight for him. First free throw on the way, no good. Rebounded by Suarez for the Matadors. Tied at 66, 316 to play. Into the front court, Thomas with it, hands it off to Marmalejos. Now on top to Atkinson. Comes right on the dribble back to Thomas. Thomas goes left, looking for a screen from Glover. Can't find one. Now he works one-on-one -on -one against Seamster. Gets a screen from his big man, goes left, but can't shake Seamster. Right side, three to shoot. Thomas leaves it for Glover, throws it at the basket, won't go. And a rebounding foul called against Jamari Childs as Suarez was going back up for the tip-in. That'll be the second on Jamari Childs. Childs, I think Childs was just boxing out. Suarez went over the top of him, just out-leaped him, and I think... Childs get called for the foul, but they said he was going up on the rebound tip in, so that's going to be two. Cameron Turner, the head coach of the Monsters, says there's no way he was shooting that. And Jamari Childs having a great conversation with the official. Suarez's first free throw is up and in. Gives the Matadors the one point lead, 67 66, with 2.49 to play. Back into the Eastern lineup will be Terrence Warren replacing Jamari Childs. And now back to the line for the second is Edwin Suarez. Second free throw on the way, rattles home. Two point lead for the Matadors, 2.49 to play. This one's gonna come down to the final possession, I think. Terrence Warren will walk it into the front court, right side. Gets a screen from Rick Wood Pitt, goes left with it, gets to the left elbow. Down so to low to Seamster, goes to the glass. Blocked by Glover, out of bounds, but a ton of contact. Seamster goes to the 
ground, a ton of contact, no whistle down low. Seamster just gets up, shaking his head. A goalie will inbound baseline left with 17 on the shot clock for the Monsters. Looks left, now finds Rick Wood Pitt left side. He'll dribble out of it on top to Seamster. He'll go right against Glover, running floater off glass, no good. Marmalejos with the rebound for the Matadors. Leaves it to Thomas with a two-point lead, 2.23 to play. Into the front court, Marmalejos with it left side to Atkinson. Over to Suarez, left side on top to Glover. Glover goes left, hands it off to Marmalejos. Back to back out between the circles, now goes left. Out on top to Glover, back to Marmalejos. He'll drive to the glass, no good. Rebound is loose, Suarez can't put it through. Rebounded by Marmalejos underneath, and he's fouled by Dallin Morgan. The foul on Dallin Morgan will be his third. That'll put Marmalejos back at the line to shoot two for Western. Eastern down two, 68-66 with a minute 56 to play. Marmalejos with 11 points tonight. He's been held 13 points under his season average, but the Matadors still lead by two. First free throw on the way, rolls out, no good. Jamari Childs back into the monster lineup, replacing Rayshon Seamster. And now Marmalejos back to the line for the Matadors with 1.56 to play and a two-point lead. Marmalejos second on the way. That one is good. 69-66, Eastern trails by three with a minute 52 to play. Into the front court, Childs with it, hands it off to Warren out on top. Now back to a goalie. Goes right. And a hand check foul called on Marmalejos. That'll be his second. And both teams now in the double bonus. So Noah Goli will go to the line to try to cut the lead to one. Shooting two. A goalie tonight with eight points for the Monsters. First free throw is good. One more for a goalie at the line. Gets ready, fires, that one is good as well. Two for two at the line for a goalie. 69-68, Matadors lead with 1.45 to play. Into Thomas, left side, full court pressure by the Monsters. Thomas takes it across the floor, left side, now up to Suarez to Atkinson. Atkinson back to Thomas. Thomas goes left against a goalie, hands it off to Atkinson. Now to Marmalejos, right side to Suarez. On top, now to Glover. Glover around to Thomas, left side with 10 to shoot. On top to Atkinson. Atkinson goes around a screen, right side drives, cut off there, back to Glover. Glover on top to Marmalejos. He'll go left, running floater, no good. Rebound is loose and pulled down by Dallin Morgan. Monsters down one with the ball, 70 seconds to play. Timeout, Eastern, 107 left in this one. Eastern Arizona College down 69-68. They'll have the ball when we come back after this timeout. Making the jump from high school to university can be overwhelming. That's why Eastern Arizona College is a great place to start. EA offers personalized education at a quarter of the cost. Small classes with hands-on experience, surrounded by people who genuinely care. Plus, there's always something fun to do on and off campus. Whether you're planning to transfer to a university or learn a new trade, Eastern Arizona College is the place for you. It's changed my life. Let it change yours. One minute, seven seconds left in this matchup between Eastern and Western. Eastern trails by a point, 
It'll be Eastern basketball, front court left, a goalie will inbound. At the end of the monster bench, into the back court to Terrence Warren. Warren works it up against Marmalejos into the front court. Left side, gets a screen from Rickwood Pitt, now goes left to the glass, lays it up and in. Terrence Warren gives the Monsters the lead. 70 to 69 with 57.4 to play. Genoi Thomas with the basketball for the Matadors, left to right. Into the front court against Warren. Left side, hands it off to Atkinson. On top to Marmaleos, right side to Suarez. Suarez goes left around the horn, on top to Thomas. Thomas back to the left now on the dribble. Into the lane, over the glass, and good for Genoi Thomas. Matadors back on top by one, 36 seconds to play. Warren into the front court. Works against Marmalejos. 30 seconds to play, goes right around a screen, pulls up from 15, no good, and rebounded by Thomas Eastern's gonna have to foul, and Tiles does. That's a quick shot by Terrence Warren in that possession. 21-7 to play, Monsters down one. Jamari Childs will pick up his third, and that will put Genoi Thomas out the line to shoot two for the Matadors. Monsters got a 10-game winning streak riding on this. Regardless of the outcome today, the Monsters will still be in first place in the league. Thomas's first free throw on the way, no good. 21.7 to play. Thomas back to the line for a second. The fans on their feet. Thomas second free throw, short. Rebounded by Rick Wood Pitt. Timeout. Eastern. 20.2 seconds to play. Monsters down one. They'll have the ball in the front court after this timeout. Twenty point two seconds to play. Eastern trails by one, seventy-one seventy. It'll be Eastern basketball, length of the floor. Noah goalie will inbound. Into Terrence Warren. Warren against Marmalejos in the backcourt. Into the front court. Gets a screen from Morgan, goes right with it. Now left, into the lane, loses the ball, stolen by Marmalejos, and fouled by Childs as Warren turns it over with 7.4 seconds to play. Marmalejos will now have a chance to give the Matadors a three-point lead if he can sink both of these. On the day, he is nine out of 12 at the foul line. Marmalejos ready for his first. No good, off to the left. Three straight misses at the foul line for the Matadors. Monsters down one. Marmalejos sets for a second. Rocks back and fires. Good, 72-70. Into a goalie, and timeout called by the Monsters as they get it across the midcourt stripe to Jamari Childs. 5.5 left in this game. The Monsters down two, and we've got another timeout. 60 seconds on the board. We'll be back right after this.
Five seconds to play. Monsters down to 72-70. They'll inbound front court left with Noah Goley. A goalie lobs it to Lee Rickwood Pitt underneath the basket and he puts it up and in. Ties the game at 72. Three seconds. Left side Thomas for three at the buzzer. No good. We are headed to overtime at Eastern Arizona College. Lee Rickwood Pitt ties it with three seconds to play and the Monsters stay alive and head to overtime. 72-72. We'll be back after this timeout. Welcome back here at Eastern Arizona College. We're headed to overtime, tied at 72. It will be a jump ball to start the overtime period. It will be Glover to jump with Lee Rickwood Pitt. Each team gets an extra timeout, but everything else stays the same. Fouls are still double bonus. Tied at 72, Glover and Rickwood Pitt to jump center. The toss, the tap, won by the Monsters. Into the backcourt, right to left. Terrence Warren with it. He'll walk it into the front court. Gets a screen from Rickwood Pitt and left side. Gets to the glass, fadeaway jumper. Good for Terrence Warren. 74-72, Monsters take the lead with 4.40 to play in overtime. Glover into the front court, right side. Out on top to Atkinson, nearly stolen by Warren. Now back to Marmolejos, right side against a goalie in the corner to Suarez. Suarez with 13 to shoot. Goes right to the baseline. Blocked on the way up, pulled down by Rickwood Pitt. Nice defense there by the Monsters. Two point lead, 4.15 to play in overtime. I'd just like to point out earlier in the game, I said this game was gonna come down to the final possession. I am not Nostradamus, I've just seen a ton of basketball. Childs into the front court, hands it off to Warren. Warren gets a screen from Rickwood Pitt, goes left with it, pulls up from the left elbow, that's short. Pulled down by Genoi Thomas for the Matadors. Into the front court, right side. Two point lead for the Monsters, 348 to play in overtime. Near side, Thomas now hands it off to Atkinson. Atkinson back to Thomas, left side against a goalie. A goalie on top to Glover, now back to Atkinson with nine to shoot. Left corner to Thomas. Thomas against the goalie, nowhere to go. Cut off, near side to Marmolejos. Marmolejos steps into a three, buries it. Tightly contested though, just a two. 74-74, no three as foot was on the line. Tie game with 3.16 to play. That was a contested shot. Warren back the other way for three. Quick shot in the offense. That's two times in a row for Terrence Warren taking a quick shot. Tied at 74, 3.04 to play. Into the front court. Thomas with it for the Matadors with 18 to shoot. Now to Suarez, left side to Marmolejos. Marmolejos comes right, now crosses over a goalie, drives the lane. Stolen away by Lee Rickwood Pitt. Jump ball called as Rickwood Pitt tied up Marmolejos. That was great defense there by the big man. Rayshon Seamster back into the monster lineup replacing Childs. And that's going to stay with six on the shot clock for the Matadors. 
Thomas will inbound baseline right. Lobs it in on top to Suarez. Suarez goes right against Lee Rickwood. Pitt, offensive foul called on Suarez as he runs over Rickwood Pitt. Rickwood Pitt with a big bucket at the end of regulation and now a big defensive play in overtime. Monsters get the ball back, tied at 74 with 2.42 to play in overtime. A goalie with the basketball. Right side, a goalie into the front court against Marmalejos. Hands it off to Seamster. Seamster goes right, steps through, and he is fouled hard on the way up by Glover. The official's going to talk it over to see if it's intentional, if it was an elbow across the face, or if it was a legit hard foul. The two officials on the near side. It's definitely, definitely a foul against Glover, but the two are going to talk it over if it's going to be intentional. Intentional foul called on Glover in the lane, so that's going to give Rayshon Seamster two shots and he's turned the basketball. Kyle Isaacs is fired up at Gene Edgerton, and he's dangerously close to getting a technical on top of that. So intentional foul called on the big man Glover. That will put Rayshon Seamster at the line to shoot two. And Eastern will get the ball baseline left after the free throws. So Seamster to the line, the sophomore from Portland. Eight points tonight, shooting free throws. First one is up, back iron no good for Seamster. He'll get one more and Eastern gets the ball. Seamster walking it, walking it off. Official gives him a couple of seconds. Now back to the line for his next. Fires that one, it is good. He gets one out of two. Monsters lead 75-74. Eastern will inbound baseline left. Noah Goley will inbound baseline left for the Monsters. The official's going to put 20 on the shot clock. Now Eastern will inbound baseline left with a goalie. Lobs it into the corner to Warren. Wide open for a three. Short. Rebound is loose. Tapped in to Rayshon Seamster. In the paint. Good for Rayshon Seamster. Monsters by three. 2.18 to play. Thomas into the front court. On top to Suarez. Left side to Atkinson. Atkinson goes left on Seamster. Cut off there. 19 to shoot on top to Glover. Glover right side to Marmalejos. Goes left around the screen. Gets through the paint. Cut off, but a blocking foul called on Rick Wood Pitt. And that'll put Marmalejos at the line to shoot two. That'll be the third on Rick Wood Pitt. Marmalejos back to the line. He's 11 of 14 there today. Eastern by three with two minutes to play. You wouldn't expect anything less between the top two teams in the league this year on the Division I side. Chandler Gilbert sandwiched in between these two, but they are on the Division II side. Top two Division I teams in the league. A.J. Marmalejos to the line. To the line, Marmalejos for two. First one is good for the sophomore from San Diego. Cuts the monster lead to two, 77-75 with 2.01 to play. Marmalejos back to the line for a second, his 16th free throw, free, free throw attempt of the day. In and out, no good. Pulled down by Dallin Morgan. Monsters with the ball in the lead, two minutes to play in overtime. Into the front court, a goalie with it left side to Morgan. Morgan against Suarez, out on top to Rick Wood Pitt. Rick Wood Pitt, left side to a goalie. A goalie comes right on the dribble, looks for Seamster in the paint. Can't find him, now nine to shoot, got to make a move. Into the lane, Rick Wood Pitt for three, right side, back iron, no. Rebound is loose, pulled down by a goalie. The Monsters get a reset on top to Warren. Warren goes left, 15 to shoot, can run some clock. He's mixed matched against the big man. He wants to take Glover one on one. Goes left. Now crossover in the lane. Pulls up left side. Back iron no. 
Rebounded by Atkinson, left side for the Matadors. 70 seconds to play. Eastern leads by two in overtime. On top, Suarez with it, way outside. Now to Thomas. Thomas back to Suarez. Suarez to Glover, top of the key. Left side to Glover. Glover drives left baseline, back to Atkinson. Fires the three, back iron no good. Rebounded by Suarez, puts it up and in, and ties the game at 77 with 51.7 seconds to play in overtime. We're tied again. Timeout on the floor called by the Matadors. We'll take it to back right after this. Fifty-one point seven seconds to play in overtime. Eastern and Western tied at seventy-seven. It'll be monster basketball. Length of the floor, right to left. Dallin Morgan to inbound. No full court pressure by the Matadors into a goalie. A goalie against Marmalejos in the backcourt comes left. Spins it left side to Rayshon Seamster. Seamster out on top to a goalie. A goalie drives right into the lane. Now backs it back out. Right corner to Warren. Warren drives, loses the handle, stolen away by Marmalejos. Stolen back by Warren, and out of bounds off of Eastern. It'll be Western basketball with 30.5 seconds to play, tied at 77. Suarez will inbound at midcourt next to the women's basketball team, who seem to enjoy uh, their cheering next to him. Atkinson out on top for the Matadors. 24 seconds to play, tied at 77. To Suarez, on top to Terry, back to, excuse me, to Thomas. Left side to Marmalejos. 13 to shoot, 15 to play. Goes left to the baseline, wraps around to Suarez, leaves it short, Morgan with the rebound. Eight seconds. A goalie pushes it into the front court. Left side to Seamster, to the glass. Lays it up and in, with the point nine to play. And Atkinson at the buzzer, no good. The Monsters win, 79-77 in overtime. Ray Sean Seamster puts it up and in and give the Monsters their 11th straight victory. Wow, what a ball game. Monsters win it, they win 11 in a row. They get three games clear of the Matadors. We'll take a timeout, but come back and recap it after this.
Welcome into the Open Loop Energy Post Game Show. Lee Patterson with you. Final score, Easton wins at 79-77 in overtime. Let's take a quick look at the stats. First for the Arizona Western Matadors, 19 points for Alexis Marmalejos, 12 points for Cam Atkinson, 16 for Janoy Thomas, 5 points for Matia Gledich, 2 points for LJ Glover, 17 points for Edwin Suarez, 3 points for Matia Kostudic, 3 points for Joao Das Chagas for Arizona Western four Eastern ten points and eleven rebounds for Noah or excuse me ten points and eleven assists for Noah goalie thirteen points for Rayshon Seamster the two biggest there at the end fourteen points for Terrence Warren fifteen for Dallin Morgan six points for Jamari Childs seven for Amari Caraway six points for Lee Rickwood Pitt and eight for a Cook Machar tonight. Well, joining us now here high atop is Eastern Arizona College head basketball coach Cameron Turner. And we talked last night, coach, first of all, congratulations on a big win. But we talked last night about you guys being through the fire already during the season. Uh, you've had some ups and downs. You've you've battled, you're battle tested, uh, trailed in the entire game here, tied it at the end of regulation and held on in overtime. That's That's got to be one of those that you're going to look back on and go, this could be one of those games that, that, that proves we can win any night. Uh, definitely. We, we seem tired. I, I felt it in shoot around. Rashawn you know, basically was hiding it. He, he had the flu yesterday, so I know he's not 100%. We just were flat, and we had to kind of weather that, and we talked about that at halftime. Like, we got to find a uh, a way to get it done. And uh, Jamari Childs is kind of our leader in the locker room, talking to the guys, of, hey, we got to have them energy, and we just stick together. We'll find a way. We'll get it done. And that's one thing. Our, this group is very connected together on and off the floor. And so that's just our culture right now, and that helps in these moments that we can just overcome things. We don't try to – we don't hang our heads. We're just going to figure it out. And I try to empower them in timeouts. Uh, to, hey, what do you guys feel most comfortable? What do you want to run? Because ultimately, it's their team, and so they know best what, what's going to work. They're out there, you know. I just got to manage them. Well, and, and, that, and that's a big win. I mean, these back-to-backs are tough this year, especially when you're playing the, you know, the top two teams in the league. The, the, you guys have battled now two nights in a row. Uh, the, I think I saw saw the same thing you're talking about in the women's game earlier, too. The back-to-backs of the tough games in the third quarter of the women's game, midway through the second half of your game, the legs are a little bit tired. Um, but but what what changed to to finally get some stops? And, and Or was it just the run you went on when uh, when they were in the zone hitting the threes over the top of it that really, really flipped the switch? Well, the first half we took 18 threes. That's the most we've had all year. But I felt like they were the right shots. Uh, I thought we maybe get a little bit more movement, then get to that action because of that. Because the movement of whatever in basketball, if you move the ball a little bit and then you shoot that shot, it just goes in more. Uh, and so that's what we talk about. Let's let's have more movement. They're leaving open Dallin, one of our better three-point shooters. He's going to start hitting him, and sure enough, that's what he did. And that kind of sparked us, and then our defensive effort, we just needed more communication. Uh, and it was really when, it sounds crazy, we took Rayshon out. We had Jamari in. We had kind of a different lineup, and that's what sparked us. That's why I'm proud of these guys. We're a team. We're not just one person. We're a group, and we just figure it, we just figure it out. <laughs> Yeah, well, and looking through the stats, you shot 41% from the floor. You 35% from three. Um, you didn't take it, or you didn't make it three in overtime. 75% uh, from the foul line. Uh, looking up and down the stats, this game was as even as it was on the floor in the stats. I mean, there's not that's not always the case, but this uh, two even uh, evenly matched teams. Uh, you outscored them 40 to 31 in the second half and seven to five in overtime. And, and that was enough, but now you get a week off. What, what's, how important is that part? <laughs> Playing the back-to-backs, you, you, you pretty much need it. So Monday is always like a recovery day. You will get shots, you know. It's a lot of management, and uh, I don't know. People might not know. I was a high school track coach for seven years in Oregon, and I, I, and I ran track in college. So it's almost like managing their bodies so they can perform at the weekend. I mean, that's pretty much how track and field is. So it's kind of a lot of this, that same concepts that we're just managing them to prepare and play at the weekend. Uh, but it is weird. We're going to only have one game, not the doubleheader. So, but well, it's okay. It's so. at on the road at Scottsdale, who 
um, you know, it's it's the ACCAC. There's not a night off. So, I mean, you you got to get some recovery. you got to get, uh, you know, ready next week to take on the artichokes. Yeah, yeah, and I, we'll watch film a lot of them and, and get ready for them. So I uh, don't know too much about them. I know they've just traditionally been a good program. Yeah, and yeah, first-year head coach down there, We, you know, as Coach Bunker left to take on the Western New Mexico job. So uh, you have a lot of film session uh, to take a look at, and it, it's, a big, it's just a big win. It just it, – it, we've talked about this before in postgame. We're talking to head coach Cameron Turner of Eastern Arizona College that – it feels like you guys are never out of games. You were down nine early. I didn't feel any panic from the sidelines, from the players. They just kept going, kept chipping away. And then you find yourself in good positions at the end when you, when you do that. And, you know, no panic. Well, I, part of us we, is trust. I trust them. I just trust them off the court, and that leads to on the court. I just trust them of who, who these young men are, and that I know they're just going to do the right things. And I just, it showed up, you know. It sure did. It's been, a, you know, we're 10-0 in conference. We've had to beat, beat coaches, at coaches twice. That, obviously, Jerry's a Hall of Famer. That's hard to do. Then to beat Western, our rival, two times. I, I, f I hope this is a special group. Even if the season's not right now, it's still a special season. First so time. I'm very proud of them. First time in, uh, I might be in my 24-year broadcasting career that the, the Gila Monsters are 10-0 in the conference. I mean, it just, I think it might be. It's because they're connected to each other. They're like they're, they have a true brotherhood. Well, Coach, congratulations on a big win. I'll let you go get some rest. And well, I have one more thing. I just want to thank our community, the Heal Valley, coming out and supporting us. It means a lot. These kids feel it because we don't get this in pretty much anywhere we no. play. Especially so next week when we go to Scottsdale when there will be 15 people in the gym. So uh, thank you, everybody, for coming out. Yeah, definitely. Big, big show out tonight and to watch, you know, a good, good team put on a show. So congratulations on a, good, a big win. That is Eastern Arizona College head coach Cameron Turner. That'll do it for us here tonight. For my statistician, Amanda Patterson, k Dog back in the studio. I'm Lee Patterson saying thanks for listening. Uh, we'll tune in next Tuesday as we're at Safford High School with Push Ridge in town. Uh, until then, have a good weekend and 